Surprise! I'm in Lisbon! We've had a very busy three days and here's a quick glimpse of what we got up to. Influences in the wild. Uh, <laughs> we're so basic. <laughs> right outside of Starbucks as well. <laughs> I know, the people in the window here are getting yeah. right. <laughs> so I'll be honest guys, I haven't planned anything for this trip. <laughs> we were in Ericeira, which is like kind of north of Lisbon, um, for a work holiday. <laughs> yeah. Um, which was incredible. And then me and Lauren here. Hey. <laughs> um, are staying in Lisbon for the weekend. It's currently Saturday. Um, and I have not planned anything about this trip. And last night we were sat in bed and Lauren just like made a whole itinerary of what we're doing. So I don't know what anything in this place is called, but we were just at the lift and we're gonna go grab a 24 hour travel day ticket, um, which gets us into the lift and the, the yellow trams, the 28 tram and everything, which is gonna be sick and we look cute influencer <laughs> we're here at the Santa Justa lift we've got our tickets which we kind of messed up um, but we're gonna go in like the lower viewpoint apparently you can get to the top but at the moment it's closed off <laughs> um, so we can't get to the very top but the viewpoint from here is still really pretty the view is really nice and it's really quiet at the moment as well so it's nice to come with someone who's done this before <laughs> if you're early. yeah so once you've come up to the viewpoint of the lift you can walk along and you get to see well okay that's the massive sign but there's like a little castle here um, I'll get a better view in a second. So yeah, it's really cool. And then you've got like a viewpoint behind that has no like obstruction, no railings or anything. So I'll show you that as well. saw this really nice blue building and I was going to take a picture but we've just stumbled across a little book market we're going to take a wonder so you might be able to see just behind me that the road is pink here because we are now on pink street there's also some cute colorful umbrellas behind me well there we go like that and we're just going to get some pictures here and yeah I think the pink and the yellow look really nice together. Apparently this used to be like the red light district and just where I'm walking now, there are lots of balconies on this building which is where the prostitutes used to hang out and dance. Um, but now it's just a street full of lots of bars and restaurants and they're actually cleaning the floor as we speak uh, because it's a Saturday, so Friday night, everyone's partying. There's lots of rubbish on the floor. But we're gonna get some pictures now. <laughs> We're waiting at the bus stop and it took us a good like 10 minutes to find the bus stop we needed to be at. We actually had to ask one of the um, big red bus tour guide people to be like, where are we going? So we don't know how long we're going to be waiting here, but we're, where are we off to? I don't even know where we're off to. We are going to Tram 28. Oh, yay! <laughs> Which I'll be matching with. Cause yes, you will. Yellow. But yeah, it's been, we've done so much already. It's been great. Um, and we've just had a message from the fun ex excursion thing we're doing tonight. Walter. Walter, I love him, but he was being a bit flirtatious with me, so... She better be wiped up here. Sent me a little winky face on WhatsApp, so uh, could be an interesting evening. <laughs> we basically just stumbled across like a, a market um, where the bus ended, so we got off and we just had a look around and there's this store with like, lots of like really cool 
some cool like um, <laughs> bags designed with like music and things. God, I haven't seen a cassette tape in years. And it's a bag. Yeah. It's so cool. And lots of jewelry as well. We're still in the market, but we spent a good like maybe 20 minutes, yeah. half hour, looking at this one store trying to decide what jewelry we want to buy. So I'll show you a close up. I got this ring. Kind of shell ring as well. So I got my ring. Yeah. yeah. And my little delicate bracelet. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> There's so much nice room. There is, yeah. So we're currently in the line for the 28 tram, which goes all the way down there. Um, and this is the queue for a normal tram, um, which is tempting to get on, but there we go. <laughs> driver let us take pictures like inside while it's empty and like hanging hanging out the edge um, and now we're just waiting to go back on it to actually view some stuff and get off <laughs> i hope you heard that so we were first to get on this this tram and we've got the single seats so we can hang out the side and take pictures of each other so we're gonna get pictures like that So we passed this on the way here, and we just got off the tram over there, and we're gonna take some pictures with the tree, and then there's a really nice rooftop bit up there, but we're running late for our big thing tonight, so uh, we've gotta be quick. So we're just walking through some of the like streets in Lisbon to go back to our apartment. Um, I did actually end up buying a cute little tote bag, but there was like a street performer happening just down there, and there was like a group of guys like dancing and like banging a drum or something. And we were just walking past, and we, we were like walking directly in their like performance way. But he just the, one of the guys just grabbed my hand and started walking along with me, and was like holding my hand as we were walking. I set the picture that Lauren got. <laughs> I was just like, what the hell's happening? And I was like, Lauren, 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 because she was walking in front of me. The men are falling at her feet. Our sailing <laughs> captain has already sent her a wink emoji and now she's been, she's found love in Lisbon, can I tell you? <laughs> so we're taking all forms of transport today. We're now waiting for the metro. Very exciting. And we're off to do something really, really fun. Uh, It'll be a surprise and I'll show you when we're there. <laughs> Look at the jellyfish. So we are here at a dock because we are going sailing. <laughs> we were sat watching the sea and we were watching lots of sailboats last night and we were just like, you know what, how fun would it be to just have some drinks on a sailboat? And we booked it last night and now we're here and we're doing it. Um, so we've got our tour guide, well our captain, sorry, Valter and he seems so friendly and there's about 10 of us on this on this group so if you're a long time viewer of this channel you may know that i have actually sailed before <laughs> i sailed from greenwich in london to senez in portugal <laughs> and i'm doing it again in portugal which i find really funny um but yeah we should be arriving at the boat any second now but we've got dario who is also from our work company and the three of us have met up to go on a sailboat this is our vessel <laughs> always leave your head below this level okay this is the boom it can change very fast so to go to the front and to return always do something like this okay let's go 
Everybody's excited. Yeah. yeah. So this yeah. is the inside. I guess. Yeah. Very fancy. Now, what we are going to do today? First of all, this this part of the river here, the end of the river. Yeah. Right? So if we go to west, we go to the Atlantic Ocean. If we go to east, we go up the river and to the north of Spain. So first of all, we are going to the Blank Tower by Andrew against the current, and then we'll figure it out. We're sat at the front, um, and this is honestly the life. I got some wine, we're sat at the front, we're gonna get some beautiful pictures, it's gonna be a good evening. <laughs> and this was only 31 pounds. 31 pounds. 31 pounds. Yes. Incredible. We're just about to pass under the fake Golden Gate Bridge. It's, a bit, it's getting a bit choppy. It's getting a bit choppy. But we're going under. There's Becca's we have Chris the Redeemer. Oh, it's Chris the Redeemer. <laughs> Enjoy your evening and behave. Thank you, you so are very much. welcome. Very welcome. It was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Link in the description if you want to join. Thank you. Come on. Oh, it was so bye good. Bye. Back on land. That was incredible. I can't believe how cheap that experience was. I would have paid more for that to be honest. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you do want to try it out. We found it on Airbnb experiences, which I didn't know was a thing. But You're um, welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. We <laughs> all really, really enjoyed it. We made friends with everyone on the boat <laughs> and Volta was incredible. Big love to him. <laughs> So we've been to this place for dinner and it's basically peri-peri chicken. And look how quaint it is. This is like the size of it. It's so small, but it smells incredible. Yeah. When I tell you that was the most horrendous experience of my life, so we're still waiting for the chicken. We've been here like 45 minutes, maybe longer. Um, and we're still waiting for the food. Um, and the woman is ridiculously rude. I get that it's literally just her by herself and she stresses a lot of people and it's a small place, I get it. But it's just rude, it's like so rude. Um, a guy asked her a question, she's like, what are you calling me? He literally just asked her a question. Another guy went to pay and he was like, oh, is it five? And she was like, she batted his hand away. Um, with us, basically maybe like 15 minutes before we ordered or 20 minutes, I don't know, times 
weird here. She was like, does anyone just want chicken? We wanted chicken and rice. Okay, so we were like, oh, well, it's not just chicken, so we're not gonna say that. A guy, a couple of like people back was like, yeah, yeah, just me. So she starts making that. And then we get to the front, she finally takes our order. And she's like, what do you want? And we're like, chicken and rice. She was like, I asked if anyone wanted just chicken. And we're like, but we wanted rice. And she was like, you should have said when I asked if anyone just wanted just chicken. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Very rude woman. I hope the chicken is worth it. We finally have the chicken and the rice. It does smell and look incredible, but is it worth the hassle? Was it worth the sass at the end of the Honestly, I don't know. It was rude. I have my first bit of chicken. If I can break it off, <laughs> is it worth it? We actually don't even know how much this was, so. No. Is it really good? It's worth it. Okay. It's, annoying. it's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying how yeah. good that is. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask for a fork. I don't even yeah, think I'm giving a fork. I have to you in my hand. I have a spoon. I can't cut chicken with a spoon. <laughs> Basically, um, Laura left 20 euro on the table. It did say 8 euros on the, the board. Oh, but I think she may have given us two portions of maybe of, maybe one port chicken. chicken and one thing. Yeah, so I think this may have been 16 euro, but we'll find out when we get the change. Trust me to make friends with a cat. So we're now back at the apartment. The chicken was incredible, even if the lady was rude. Although after she closed the restaurant, so she closed the restaurant at about half nine, which was pretty much just after we got our food. And then she was lovely. <laughs> So I get that she must have been very stressed. It was just her by herself um, But you don't need to be rude because no one was rude to her. That was that was the thing No one was rude to her, but she was rude to everyone <laughs> um, But the food was incredible and I would go back because it was also super cheap We had all that chicken and rice for like 12 euros. It was insane. But yeah, that is our 24 hours in Portugal. It has been a whirlwind <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> um and i don't know if i'm gonna vlog tomorrow but we've done pretty much everything today so i hope you enjoyed this video if i see you tomorrow i see you tomorrow if i don't i don't <laughs>